Hey everybody, well it looks like we have our main menu completely done, so what we're going to do in this video is take this and put it into Game Maker and begin working on our GML. So let's go ahead and get started. So again we're using Photoshop and uh, yeah, so what we're going to do first is export our background and our logo into uh, Game Maker. Now what I like to do is I like to merge my logo and my background. So I'll just click on my logo, hold control, click the background. I'll right click on background and then I'll click um, merge layers. That turns it into one, uh, just one layer. So then I can move it down here below buttons in the login menu and that way everything will show up again. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Take this out, let me try, there we go. Okay, so everything will show up. So now this is just one entity. Uh, the the uh, background and the logo. So then I'll just export this as a PNG and I'll just name it background in a folder of your choice. Now I'm not going to save this file because I'm going to be merging a lot of these layers but I'm not going to be saving this file because I might want to come back later and edit it. So very important don't save this file but do what I'm doing. Okay now uh, so we have our background um, let me refresh this there it is. Next, I want to go ahead and export my um, my buttons. So I'm just going to take a random one here, right here. Button two will be fine. Right click and click export. Uh, quick export as PNG, and I'll just name this button. So I only need one of those. That's all I need. Go to my login menu, and I'm going to merge login menu this thing, and then this guy. Oop, not that guy. Where are you at? This guy right here. So I'm going to click on that login. I'm going to click on the login menu. I'm going to merge these layers. Where's it at? Merge layers. So again, it's right here. Right click, export as PNG. We'll just call this our login under slash menu. Okay, now we want to export that little darkened login button. So again, I'm exporting that. I'm not exporting the font at all just the button login button and then the last thing is this guy right here these these things so again I only need one so I'm just gonna use the username export as PNG I'm just gonna name this uh, login text area all right so all of this is literally made out of um, five files so that's pretty cool so now we're going to go into Game Maker and add a new background, and this will be uh, background under slash main menu. We're going to load a background here, go to our desktop, and um, oops, no, just our desktop, and it should be tutorial. Load in our background, so there we go. Let's go ahead and make our room, create a room. We'll put it 800 by 600 is the dimensions uh, that we made everything in our Photoshop file. Then let's add a background. There we go. So that was pretty easy. I go to settings and we'll name this room under slash main menu. Bam! We got it going. So now we have we have everything. So uh, so I like to just merge the logo with the background because otherwise that's just an extra file that I have to deal with. You don't have to do it that way. You can export uh, this this logo as a sprite or as a as a tile. Totally up to you. I just like to merge it with my uh, with my background because it makes my life easier. Uh, okay, so we have that. Uh, now we want to go ahead and do the rest of sprites. So let's load sprites. Go to tutorial. So let's go ahead and do our login menu. So we'll name this sprite under slash login menu. And then we're not going to center it, so just keep the origin zero and zero. Load sprite. Let's do our button. Sprite button. Again, just zero and zero. And then uh, let's do another one. Uh, let's do this our login button. Sprite this the login button. Click enter. Two more here. Uh, let's do our our sprite login text area. Okay, no, that was everything. So we have one, two, three, four, and then the background is number five. So that's that's everything. All right, so now that we have it all exported, uh, what I'm going to do first is make our 
I'm gonna make our button. All right, so the first thing we wanna do in creating our buttons is create a font, call it font under slash button. We'll find our font that we used in Photoshop, which was called Immortal. There it is. We'll set the font size to about 17. You know, we might have to work with that, but uh, or play around with it a little bit. So, okay, now we wanna create a object called object under slash button. Now I do have a tutorial dealing specifically with buttons, so you can give that a, a you know, you can check that out at your leisure if you need uh, a slower version of what I'm about to do. So now we have our object button and we have uh, assigned it the sprite. Now we want to add a draw event add code and then we want to write this draw under slash self then we want to say draw set font font button the one we just made all set color C black I'll set our color to black and now we want to type this draw set H align FA center and then draw set V align FA middle Basically, what these two lines of code will do is make sure that our text is right in the middle horizontally and vertically of our button. So it'll make sure it's right in the middle of, of everything. So that's kind of nice to have. And then we want to say draw text x, y, and then a variable called text. And we'll set that variable later. Okay. Now in our, our object button, we want to add a mouse left uh, pressed uh, event. We want to add some code, and we want to use what's called a switch statement. And within that, we want to type action, which action is a variable that we will assign later. Now I'll do some curly brackets, and i uh, got a nice loud motorcycle outside. Always great to hear when you're trying to do a nice, relaxing tutorial. Uh, okay, so within the curly brackets, you want to say case, space, zero, colon, and then we'll say... Uh, room go or, or sorry room go to room game so that's a room that we haven't made yet but we'll make it later then say break well, let's go ahead and make it now that way we don't get any errors so we just made a new room here we'll name this room under slash game okay there we go so uh if basically it's saying if action the variable action is equal to zero run this line of code and then stop here. Uh, so we're gonna add case one. This will be like settings. So let's comment this. Case one, uh, we, we're not gonna put anything in here yet. Case two, exit game. And this will be game under slash end break. Okay, so hopefully you can understand what's going on here. Uh, switch has action, which is gonna be a variable. And if action is equal to zero, then uh, play game. So again, all this runs after you've left click on this object. Uh, if action is equal to one, then we're gonna run our settings code, which we don't have yet. And if action is equal to two, then end the game. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay. We can throw these buttons into our room here. Put them right over here. I think that was about how we had it. Maybe up a little bit more. And then we're going to right click on each button and then click creation code. And we're basically gonna set those two variables now. So text equals, in quotations, play game. And then action equals zero. Okay, so that was for the first button. The second button, creation code, text equals settings action equals one and lastly here creation code text equals exit game and then action equals two so we should be able to run the game now and our button should work okay uh, that's always nice to have I'm sorry go ahead and uh, go ahead and center this Okay, so let's move this over here. Okay, sorry about that. So in your in your sprite button, make sure that that is actually centered. So, okay, now it should work. <laughs> I should definitely be more prepared for these tutorials, huh? Okay, now it works fine. So what we could do, again, you know, a lot of, of 
user interface stuff, it's gonna be a lot of tweaking. So I think we need to make this font a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and close this. Like I said, uh, we probably have to play with this. So let's make this like 24. Play it one more time. All right, that's perfect. Yeah, so might want to move it down a little bit. I don't know. See, we we can we can play around with all this, but uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So uh, now when we click play game, it should go to the next room. Okay, so the buttons work just fine. We can go ahead and play it again. Obviously, our settings is not going to do anything right now, but exit game should do something. Should end the game. So uh, exit game, and there we go. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow.